Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Hamao and the uh, Baloch National Movement Party for inviting me uh, to their first conference in Delhi. And I'm very honored and humbled to be here with you to share the information of the growing human rights violations and uh, horrors taking place in the South Asian uh, region, which is uh, hidden under the name of uh, modernization or, or uh, economic growth. I have heard that tons of negative aspect of China from these gentlemen here today, so I'm re really depressed, but uh, um, I just uh, uh, want to say that some uh, ne uh, positive aspect. I'm not, you know, uh, saying about the secret, but uh, the Chinese, they are producing their uh, products, and uh, this gentleman here says starting exporting or they are producing over overseas because the shortage of the workforce is in China. But the reason why the Chinese is growing up so rapidly is because they don't care about pollution. They don't care about any standard. They just produce it without any restriction. But if you see the China, Japan or, uh, or Germany, they have a lot of uh, strict restrictions or lose everything, you know. So we have to invest a lot of money so not only because of the cheap labors, actually, labor in China is no longer cheap, okay? Their living standards is very uh, upgraded. And also, there are hundreds and millions and millions of billionaires in China. If you come to Japan and or some other nations, you will see a lot of Chinese uh, buying tons of things, you know, bringing back uh, by the vessel. So they are no longer poor. Of course, there are so many poor people, but you know, maybe 10% of the huge you know, uh, billionaires there. So we have, uh, that. that's the reason why all the country, for example, in Japan, we, uh, government decided not to uh, require visa for the Chinese people to get into uh, Japan. And we're having a lot of trouble with the Chinese killing the people in Japan, robbing, you know, stealing the stuffs. So that is uh, what is going on in, in Japan right now. And it's not a positive aspect, but anyway they will not be able to move so quickly to the other nations because of their, they are not met with the standard in uh, each country. So they want to start fighting each other for the standard. In Pakistan, I don't know uh, about Pakistan, I'm not professional. And uh, I have been doing a manufacturing business, so I know uh, what's going to be the uh, you know, structure of the manufacturing. And China is only nation. They don't have any kind of uh, restrictions or loops. So if you go to see the liver in China, so many different colors of liver you see, like orange colors liver or green colors or dark, you know, dark colors liver because of pollution. And people are dying there, but they don't care because they have a lot of tons of people there. And uh, uh, China will not be back down if a problem occur in the region they move to. That's why they will start fighting a, down, uh, a couple of years down the road. And uh, I'm not a uh, specialist for the Baloch issue, so these gentlemen here are uh, specialists, but I'm not. I just uh, got involved for a couple of years ago. And Japan maintained uh, peace in the Asian region uh, after the World War II on the surface. However, the actuality in uh, something else is something else. Uh, some of the uh, Northern Islands were forcibly taken away by Russia. And uh, uh, islands between South Korea and Japan was taken away uh, by South Korea. And uh, uh, North Korea is threatening uh, uh, Japan by uh, ICBM or uh, nuclear weapons right now. And China is coming to Japan and violating the territory of water and the air spaces right now. This is solely because we have Article 9, which is Constitution, prohibiting uh, have to have any sort of the military <coughs> in Japan. We have some sort of uh, uh, defense forces, but it's not immediately. So we don't have any uh, offensive uh, equipments like missiles. We just have uh, defensive uh, equipments. So because this is uh, prohibited by the uh, Japanese constitution. There are a chain of islands uh, southwest end of Japan called the Senkaku Island. I think some of them are uh, familiar with the name. It, actually, it's a natural uh, resource in a very rich area. Oils, oils and gases. And after the United Nations uh, study team announced in 1969 that their large natural resource reserve around the islands, all, the, all of a sudden China started claiming that those islands are belonging to China. 
although China has never claimed in uh, until the United Nations announcement, e e -Cafe, they call it e -Cafe, Economic Commissions for Asia and Far East was the organization at the United Nations. Also, CCRP Coordinating uh, Committee for uh, Geoscience Programs in East and South Asia was established in 1966. eCafe to aid in their uh, recognizes uh, exploration for potential uh, mineral resources from the, uh, the sea floor of uh, East Asia. The ECAFE survey made a group of uh, scientists from Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and the United States found that uh, uh, continental shelf, the Yellow Seas and East, uh, East China Sea might be one of the richest oil reserves in the world. Senkak Island are located in a part of East China Sea, and China has nothing to do with this survey. In 2014, the original owner of the islands uh, was, uh, who was Japanese, sold the islands to, uh, uh, to uh, Japanese government. So now uh, islands are belonging to the Japanese government. The Chinese aggression escalated after that, and uh, uh, they are sending uh, uh, Coast Guard vessels and uh, uh, violating the territory of water, airspace, and so on. The reason of the provocation is solely because of the Japanese constitution, as I said. The Japanese constitution prohibits any thought of military. It leads, the constitution leads land, sea, and air forces, as well as other war potential, will never be maintained. The rights of uh, vigilancy of the state will not be recognized. This is what it is written. In another word, there is no rights for Japan to fight against enemies. This is why China knows even uh, they violate the Japanese territory of water or airspace, Japan would not use military against them. The Constitution was written by the United States after Japan was defeated uh, as additional, uh, like additional punishment, uh, because we are defeated. It is against the international law to write the Constitution of the uh, occupying uh, nations. Uh, however, Japan was uh, totally exhausted by the war and accepted it. Overall, constitution is not a problem uh, and well written. Uh, we appreciate that uh, that was given by the United States. Only one portion, which is Article 9 of it, is the problem, as I mentioned. 72, 72 years after the World War II, we have never received, uh, never revised even one word, while Germany, Germany has uh, changed more than 60 times, uh, what I remember correctly, and until uh, today, due to different reasons. The name China, Chinese in Chinese letter, consisted of two letters in Chinese character. That is Chun and Guo. Chun represent center, and Guo represent nations. That means center of nations. They are literally trying to be a center of the uh, whole world by uh, connecting laws and labor laws from uh, China to every Eurasian countries. Their aggressive behavior was uh, started after World War II. Tibet, uh, South Mongolia, and East Turkestan are their first victims of their, their expansionism. Their own demand internal organ transplantation became a huge industry bringing fortune to uh, uh, Chinese Communist Party. Now, hundreds of thousands of uh, internal organ transplant, uh, trans uh, plantation is taking place according to the reliable source uh, in Canada, the United Kingdom, and the United Nations. In uh, 2016, Miss Canada, who happened to be a Chinese descent, was denied entering China through Hong Kong to participate in the World Miss Contest final because she exposed what is really going on in China. She spoke out at the United Nations, United States Congress, and the uh, Canadian Congress. Although her father is still in China, threatened by Chinese Communist government, the party. When we study uh, about China, we definitely need to study what is the Sinocentrism. It is the idea that China is the only race superior uh, uh, than any other race. I don't go into details because it's a long story but for today, but uh, hoping you to study it, Sinocentrism. So you will understand basic concept of Chinese expansionism. This is a, 
ideology of since uh, China was founded, I guess. So I started vis uh, visiting United Nations from uh, 2014 uh, to defend my country, Japan, from forced acquisition uh, thrown by Chinese and uh, Koreans over the Comfort Woman issue and Nanking incident, which are a vehicle for them to uh, divert their attention from their own people to the government to Japan to have a common enemy, enemy which is Japan. So that you know they will uh, concentrate to bash Japan instead of bashing their own government. Uh, this is the propaganda uh, they have been using decades. Then uh, in the United Nations, I came across with a gentleman who happened to be a Baloch uh, person, who, who is a very nice guy, uh, named uh, Mr. Uh, Bilal Baloch. He's a very nice man and, and intelligent man. So he knew our issues and uh, who is behind the scene, which is China and uh, North Korea. After that, we discussed the uh, issue and I came to know Baloj people suffering and struggling. I have, I have no idea who, where is the uh, Balochistan because uh, this is something new for me. And almost uh, no one knew about the Balochistan in Japan, but ever since I've learned about their issue, I started researching and uh, studying the issue. Then soon I realized that China started exporting their strategies currently used upon East Turkestan, Tibetan, South Mongolians, and the Falun Gong practitioners who have been of course the fundamental, uh, was uh, oppressed uh, fundamental rights and freedom. Time to time I participated in the rallies of Tibetans and East Turkestan held in Japan and the problem of them, uh, them are known to Japanese but not Balochis. As I studied be stated before, we are facing uh, threats from China and uh, they're sending tons of uh, undercover agent to Japan, particularly to Okinawa, which is the Southern Islands, and Hokkaido, which is the Northern Island, trying to make division between Japan, United States, and the South Korea alliance. Because uh, as we have US bases in Okinawa, it is their uh, challenge to China for the time being. Beijing don't want the U.S. base to be in Okinawa because they want to take the islands uh, for uh, natural resources. Protesters in Okinawa is not hiding their identity now and holding uh, demonstrations and rallies around the American bases. Apparently, China is sending a huge amount of money for this operation in Japan to make division internally instead of using military uh, operation at the, mo at the, at the moment. In November last year, I was invited to a conference in Bangkok, Thailand, to discuss about the Baloch issue. But as you know, the organizer was detained by Thai authority and deported, unfortunately. Then I thought I need to bring the issue to Japan to let the Japanese people know their struggles as uh, we, uh, uh, as to show the future of Okinawa, because uh, Okinawa is embedded uh, partly right now. So uh, we have to know uh, what they are doing in the Balochistan. And in, uh, in May this year, I hold their, uh, held their conference in Japan, that building, like that building, in, in the photos. And gathering all the victims of the Chinese, including Baloch people, East Turkestan, Tibet Tibetans, and the foreign practitioners to discuss about the current situation they're suffering as well as uh, countermeasures. About 200 to 300 audiences gathered at the conference and 10 Diet members visited to know about the issue. Even Japanese Diet member has no idea about the Baloch issue. Japan started contributing financially and technically to Pakistan from 1954. Japan is the second or third largest contributor to Pakistan after the United States. By holding this conference in Tokyo, it would uh, would open their eyes, especially Japanese government, to know how the contribution has been used and to consider the future contribution. After World War II, sadly, Japan has been uh, following the United States for political uh, elections. When I see from the picture, the United States must be their key for a contribution to Pakistan. If Trump administration, uh, as he stated, fight against the terrorism, then need to reduce or watch severely the uh, use of this aid. If United States decides to consider their aid, Japan would follow their example, unfortunately. 
This means lobby to the United States would be effective for uh, Baloch people. So you better to do uh, aggressively to, their, to, uh, to have a lobby uh, in the uh, United States. As I'm now for uh, this issue, I, I would like to listen to this. You know, I, I, I learned a lot of things today, so I will bring back to Japan uh, to discuss further with the Japanese uh, that members and the Japanese government. It's diplomatic manner to send the people if uh, the uh, China, if China or other country invited the uh, uh, diplomats. So we sent uh, very low class people for uh, diplomats to the uh, CPEC. Uh, conference. This is what we, what it is. You know, we are not uh, paying any attention on that issue. So to the Baruch people, uh, we Japanese are uh, with you until you are freed from the dictators. Thank you very much.